Hello, fine friend, and welcome here at the end of week five of the Thrive Five Daily Mobility Series. Another mouthful for us there, ahead of a specialist session, again looking at the ankles. So today we're gonna to be exploring two drills here that it's gonna be strengthening the range of motion in your ankle, primarily that dorsiflexion position that allows us to get nice and comfortably into the bottom of squats, lunges, and indeed just strengthening that range that you're gonna need for just about every daily activity. So let me talk to you a little bit about the equipment requirements today, because there are some that's gonna allow you to get the most out of today's work. Two positions, the first one, you're not gonna need anything. And I'm gonna go over a couple of ways that I want you to approach that depending on your experience level. Second one, however, is just gonna be a single leg calf raise. Now you're gonna want somewhere to elevate the front of your foot. I'm actually gonna be using this nice light slant board. These are really good and versatile and you can get some of these cheap but very effective ones on places like Amazon and things. That could be, however, a step, the edge of a step, um, a couple of weight plates, even yoga blocks, as long as they're sturdy enough and not too squishy so you don't lose your position. You're gonna need that in conjunction with somewhere to balance yourself. I'm obviously using trusty, rusty step ladder here, uh, but you could be using a wall, a door frame, even holding onto a stick or something. You should be totally fine there. So I want us to dig into these dorsiflexion rocker end range holds. Definitely a prize for someone who comes up with a better name than me there. Um, what it's gonna involve is us in this seated supported position, all right, with your feet sort of shoulder width apart, rocking into our end range position with that flexion, pulling the toes towards us as hard as I can so you feel the contraction contraction in your tibialis on the front of the shin really hard, rocking back into the hands, squeezing those as hard as you can. We'll do a five second count before rocking back in to another deep flex position. Okay, so this is allowing us to really strengthen the end range. If you join me for the first ankle specialist session, you remember we were looking at opening up more range of motion there um, by using the pails and rails method. Today, we're looking at just strengthening that range and we're also gonna do the same with a single leg calf raise. So, two ways, however, if you don't find this bottom squat position very comfortable and you're like, your hips are pretty high, what you could do is make it much more based in the hands. You would drive your knees forward here, okay? Then begin that pulling uh, of the toes and the foot towards the shin as we lean back here and you're gonna get a similar contraction, okay? If, however, you can join me in the bottom squat, uh, then that's the method I'm gonna be showing here, first of all. So, please find your starting position, if you will. This is gonna be one minute of continuous work and I'll be counting you through those sort of individual five second end range holds before we go back into our squat. Okay, so hopefully you're down here either on your hands or in your bottom squat. We're gonna get our minute clock on there. My hands are there and I'm gonna pull my toes towards me as I rock them off, squeezing as hard as I can for three, two, one, rock back forward. Okay, I like to let my heels ride up a little bit here to really um, uh, force some end range there in the ankles, pardon me, and then rock back into the hands, squeeze as hard as we can. There should be fire in there already. Three, two, one, rocking back forward. Hands in support as much as I need them, right? Letting those heels ride a little bit as I rock back into the hands, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one, your tibialis muscle in front of the shin there will probably be on fire now if you're doing these correctly. Squeeze, four, three, two, one. Rocking back into that squat. Squeeze, five, last one, four, three, two, one. Oh, and relax, fire, fire, great. And now we're gonna to come to our second drill of the day here, okay? And this is gonna be a single leg calf raise. We're gonna do 45 seconds per side. Now there's so many ways you can go about doing this. I just wanna introduce you to the notion of these deficit calf raises and how powerful they can be, not only for building a fine set of calves, of course, but for actually strengthening the full range of motion in your ankle. So you're gonna want somewhere to support your balance so we don't have to worry about that. Hopefully somewhere less precarious than my trusty Rusty here. Now, whether you're on the edge of a stack of books, weight plates, whatever it is, or a step, you want the balls of your foot firmly planted on that, and then hopefully your heel can drop away underneath, okay? So that you can load up that deep stretch position. We're gonna hang out there, drive up to the top, squeeze, and then find that stretch at the bottom. It's gonna look different for all of us. Do your best with the setup you have, and join me now, if you will, for 45 seconds per side. Okay, 45 on the clock. 
I've got that big stretch in my calf, loaded, loading up that dorsiflexion, drive and squeeze. And feel that stretch at the bottom. Drive and squeeze. And so on here. Again, try to keep that slight forward lean as much as your setup will allow. So you can actually feel the front of the ankle being challenged. Really nice work. I know you're doing fine work wherever you are and probably already being humbled by this oh simple of calf raises. Again, if you don't happen to have anything to elevate yourself, I should have addressed this earlier, you can do these without the deficit obviously, but we really wanna benefit from that stretch and that range of motion, super cool. Okay, we're literally gonna turn this on around. And perform it on the other side of the body for our last drill of the day. Alrighty, so join me now if you will. Good stretch at the bottom. Nice squeeze at the top. Actually really wanting to prioritize that bottom stretch mainly for its hypertrophy stimulus that it will give him in the calf muscle, but also because that's gonna be the deepest range of our ankle at the bottom when the foot is coming towards the shin, depending on your setup and how steep that drop is, of course. Come on, trusty Rusty, stay with me. Not giving me a lot of confidence here. And that's gonna be my last one. Tremendous. Okay, so another couple of tools in your box there. If you're looking to continually strengthen the range of motion in your ankle and obviously help to open up some of that range. But if you haven't checked out the first installment of that ankle specialist series, uh, the end of week two there, um, then please, you can scroll back and find it in the playlist. Thank you so much. If you have any questions about this work, please drop them in the comment section below. Like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you for our final week on this challenge starting tomorrow. Thank you again, my friend.